Hi, it's me. And I've remembered to do an intro today. Ah, first time ever. And also I'm on the other side, have you noticed? I'm on this, I'm on the other side. Does it feel weird? Feels weird for me. But I was watching back the footage and realized that you can't see any of the things. So I was like, pop over to the other side. That would be helpful. So, yep, yeah, home safety hotline part oh, five, I want to say. And we've got Saturday and Sunday left. I'm hoping we can get them done in one go. Depends how on the ball I am. And let's go. 29th of April, 1996. Okay, we've got Thunder Peak. Thunder Peak! And a mailbox. Double click, always double tap, double tap. Great American Hikes. Brought to you by the home, I don't feel like the home safety hotline would be recommending hikes. I feel like they'd be recommending to stay in your home. Safer there, surely. Thunder Peak! Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. Is it, is it like Thunder Mountain at Disneyland? In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Supplies. As with any hiking trail, you'll want to ensure you come prepared with supplies to help you meet the demanding physical trials ahead. Make sure to bring hiking boots, a water bottle, an iron sword, some climbing gloves, if you don't have access to all of these materials, be sure to consult one of the Thunder Peak Park guides before embarking. Oh, I'm interested to know why an iron sword would be relevant. The trail. Is there things metamorphosizing on the trail? Is that why we need a sword? Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. I'm very confused. I feel like we've done a complete 180 from what was happening. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you are in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. Yeah, we've definitely taken a very strange turn. Enter the cave. I say a strange turn like it was all normal before, but... When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Where, where, where are we going? Where are we going inside this cave? Follow the lights. Do not stray. If something jumps out at me here, I'm, I quit. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. Is there a T-Rex down there? Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. You made it. Now enjoy the view. I'm very confused. Why, why, why would we stop in the middle of a hike to go in a cave and slay a T-Rex? That doesn't, that doesn't seem like a normal hike at all. Is this for me as an employee or is this 
for anyone? Does anyone get this info or is it specifically for me? Now thine eyes are upon me. Who is that? Has that person always been there? And is... Sh I, should I be... Cons I'm just hoping they're not going to be getting closer because that is going to be real upsetting. Real upsetting. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh no. Mike the smart mouse. This address is no longer active. Hello. If you're receiving this email, it's because you've been emailed by this address before. The employee this address is registered to is no longer employed here at Home Safety Hotline. If you still need support from HSH, please email us. Oh, Mike. Mike the Smart Mouse. No. <sighs> Daily coupon. Hag hide. Congratulations, employee. Your high accuracy rate. Yeah. I'm so accurate. Has awarded you today's daily coupon. Today's daily coupon is for Hag Hide. Sourced cruelty free from the perished and treated with our flower scented formula. These are the best quality Hag Hides that you'll find. This month only, we'll even throw in an iron wall mount free of charge. Let the whispers keep your bed the safe haven it should be. Sleep easier, sleep safer. To receive your discount, type the following code. Haglin for deals. Ah, oh, it's, it's very expensive for something that I hate. No, I'm, I think we should leave the hag hide where it is. I don't want anything to do with that. Thank you. Okay. It's been several days since um I last did this, so I'm I'm hoping I have enough memory juice to remember all of the things and answer correctly. Okay, is there anything I feel like I need to catch up on? All, all of it, just all of it. Ooh, my job, yep, yep. Hello, I am here working. Oh. Park employee, lend thine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. <laughs> Supervisor Barbie here again. To grant the access to all relevant household Yeah, you're disturbing me. No, I don't, I don't, I no, I don't want that. I don't want that. I hate you. Prepare your body. What is a puka? Where right, I'm going to start at the top. Autumn vines. Hey, we have everything now, though. We have everything. Uh, uh, orange red leaves. Sorry to go over a house. Dizzy, lightheaded, or blissful. Uh, inspecting the soil around the home for an extended red parent but I've also realised that a lot of the info is in the solution. Hello, HSH, how can I help you, Sometimes Brittany? An animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Quiet. Now, what to do to get rid of this thing? Because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. Oh my goodness, not your Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Brittany... You look like a haunted Victorian child. Should be an Oliver Twist. Some kind of animal in her cellar. It's flapping. Is it bat? I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Oh, good grief. Not your Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I, is this not just bats? It's flapping. Flapping. Commonly report sounds of scratching or flapping at night and sightings of small dry pellet droppings. So, what a dort, dortcha. Dortcha. Ooh, report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. Ooh, don't like it. Is that a shadow of a face? Cause that's a very big face. Like, mouth, nose, right? And just covered in hair. Ooh, what a big face. I would also feel immense dread if such a big face was following me. It's not that, though. A leprechaun. Do they flap to leprechauns? Ooh. Why does it look like the girl from the ring? Does it need to have its hair over its face? Apparently, yes, they're covered in long brown hair. 
Consuming common household valuables such as jewellery, silverware and other precious metals. That's not useful at all. Get rid. Get rid of it now. Appetite for precious metals can cause long-term damage to heaters, furnaces and other common appliances. Uh, 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 oh, and humans, if you have metallic medical implants such as braces, crowns or joint replacements. Wow, poor grandma with a new hip. Just getting eaten by a leprechaun. Neighbor's doorway. Weird. Can often appear in basements or cellars. Uh, do not cause any direct harm. Stepping through will result in unwanted household activity. Altered behaviour. Perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. So don't get that confused with the memory wisp or the mirror nymph thing. Tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. So basically just stay out of it. Just practising mindfulness. That's adorable. Useful. Helpful. Hookah. Hookah. Ooh. Is it a greyhound? Looks like a greyhound to me. Hookahs are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They are known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and greyhounds. I will let that go. I'll let it go. I've let it go. It's gone. It's gone. Never to be mentioned again. And live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Why? Why? Relatively harmless, but the discarded bodies of household pets they leave behind over time create other pets. Ah, get out. Thrive on the attention they receive from frightened homeowners. Mm -hmm. Reanimation. Is this like the little... Deceased remains of living creatures capable of moving on their own. Foul smells, soil inside the home, and large holes in the ground. Uh, capable of spreading a wide variety of dangerous diseases and parasites deadly to humans. Uh, 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 inflect inflict inflict direct violence inflict direct violence against homeowner homeowners wow spriggan spriggan small green humanoids where is it where is it where is it leaf-like coatings on their bodies seen rarely in households and reside primarily in trees known to act violently affected by spriggans report rapid vine growth in and around their homes Spriggans are incredibly dangerous to humans when provoked, and physical contact will result in the growth of a sprig tree. Big tree. The spriggan brings the sprig tree. Is it there? Or is it there? That looks like something wearing glasses, you know? Like, huh, huh, huh. like big, like 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 uh, the gremlin that reads the news in the second Gremlins film. I don't know where that is too many new things <laughs> he looks like he should be in ghostbusters trolls are giant 12 foot tall nocturnal creatures that aren't seen in the home during the winter they'll deflate their bodies in order to fit inside and steal warm materials oh that's quite sad install repelling fixtures such as uv lights okay and the last one is a warlock remnant Warlock remnants residual presence left behind by warlocks inhabiting older households, castles, or underground dwellings. Experiencing warlock remnants often report objects moving on their own. The sound of hostile warning whispers or sighting bearded figures in reflective surfaces. Um, okay, I think you have bats, hon. I was going to say bats. Okay, first one for Saturday. Done. We've probably only got about... 20 more to go. Oh, I didn't see bed hag. <gasps> El uh, uh, what? Oh, hello. Ruth. So, uh, I, I think something may have uh, died inside my desk. Was it a bed hag? It stinks to high heavens and something is leaking out of it. In your desk. I have to lock the door to my office since my kids are overly curious about the smell, so... I need to know what to do about this. Oh, wood secretions. Is it wood secretions? Uh, can be deadly to humans, causing a rapid translation of flesh. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep animals and human children away from it, as its foul odor will be interpreted as a sweet candy like smell. Okay, okay, okay. It's that. It's 100% that. I don't think there's anything else that could be. Ruth, you have wood secretions. Doesn't sound great. I would suggest. What am I suggesting you do? 
Do you just have to replace the desk? Just replace the desk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, that's all you gotta do, Ruth. Replace the desk, else your kids will die. That's it. You see, one of those things is much more preferable to the other. Um, bed hag. Ooh. Oh. Hi. Um, all of my Merlot is ruined because your overpaid stuff <gasps> Oh, it was a wine I spray. You, know, you did a bad job, and you should be ashamed of yourself. Oh you my! Red wine on your hands. Good news. Brittany, that that was a knife. I have feelings. I just made one small miss. Do you know what? Hope it eats you. Does it kill? Do wine sprites kill? Commonly report broken glasses and their wine having a rotten taste and smell. Various deadly diseases, including the fatal fey flu. Well, hope she doesn't die from the fey flu. Hello, someone who's very good at their job. I Howard. There's someone watching me. Outside, something is moving around in the trees and I can never get a good look at them, but... Okay. I know they're out there. I've seen their eyes. I don't know who they are, but the police were no help. They just asked me stupid questions like if I mowed my lawn recently or if I ate fruit in public or something and told me to call you, hoping you'll be more helpful. Okay, okay, okay. So my first thing was, is it the thing that comes at night and looks at you? But he didn't mention the night time. He didn't mention the night time. And the police has, have uh, asked him if he's mowed his lawn recently or eaten fruit Please in public. Hold. I'm so confused about this. So here, right, the Spriggan, the Spriggan, says, uh, ooh, ah, oh. Refrain from removing trees, flowers, or weeds on your property. Do not ever kill or hunt wildlife within view of your home. Don't eat any wild fruit or vegetable that may grow on your property. Consider making offers of water each night. Rarely seen in households reside primarily in trees, known to act violently upon homeowners. So, they feel like the trees are watching them. It's a spriggan. A sp spriggan. Definitely. 100% a spriggan. I'm so good at this job. God, I'm s uh, I'm not ready. Jay. My brother told me to call this number, but I don't know why. Things have never been better around here. My brother says he doesn't like the way the leaves move. The way they grow around the house like a warm embrace. Things are good here, brother. Things are good. Would you tell my brother that things are good? I think you are Delulu. Would you tell my brother that things are good? Um, no, 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 I will not be telling him that. He doesn't like the way the leaves move, the way they grow around the house, and you're, you've Please gone hold. mental. You've gone mental. So, is that the new thing? Autumn vines. Blissful. She's so blissful. The pheromones autumn vines release into the air, while not toxic, can cause household accidents. I'm gonna just go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna do first instinct and say that it's the vines. Yeah, we're getting a lot of calls today. Saturday is a very busy day at HSH. Ooh. Hello, HSH. How can I help you? Jill. Hi. Do you know how I got here? I'm. Where are you? Where I should be. Where are you? I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. I think... It's weird that Jill has lost the mental capacity to know where she is, but still somehow had the mental capacity to ring the home safety hotline. Please um, 
the neighbor, the neighbor, neighbor, neighbor thing. The neighbor's doorway. They're known to cause confusion as well as parallelism. They don't cause any direct harm, except through the resulting parallelism will un result in unwanted household activity, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories. And the thing is, if it was something like this, would she be? She wouldn't be ringing me from the other side, would she? Like I'm assuming, once you go through a portal, like you're done, like you're just gone. I wonder where it goes though. Like, could you go? Like, theoretically, could a portal lead to like Middle Earth, and we could all just live in Lord of the Rings and have a wonderful time? Yeah, I'm gonna say that this is your neighbor's door we're gonna get such high accuracy because our first instincts are always correct interestingly though loads of this stuff is like stuff that i've literally just read so uh, i could be forgetting about a lot of stuff that wine sprites really annoyed me <sighs> should have got that what's up claire has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house because who knows how big this thing is i mean my dog so out something that big literal crap it's not just like nah it's a pile of rubbish in the corner it's literal shit okay rotten eggs and a massive shit okay please hold so the trash gnome trash gnomes often report the smell of rotten eggs but literally there's there's nothing else so i think that that might be a a ruse a red herring what 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 does that mean Dorcha will deliver that which it seeks there is no coming back from deliverance Dorcha is otherwise harmless to humans it does not seek so deliverance is in like it's gonna gonna murder you we're using the term deliverance to mean murder in like a religious way to be sought by torture is to be found by torture yeah it's, it's, a, it's, it's a cult if you are a loved one are sought by torture it's advised to grieve and find peace through acceptance or you take up arms maybe an iron sword cannon i don't know but like don't 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 just roll over. Don't just be like nye, nye, die from that thing, that terrifying massive face. What are we doing? Rotten eggs. Yeah, yeah, okay, I remember. So the only thing I can find that smells like rotten eggs is a trash gnome. So she said specifically crap on her dinner table, but like what I'm thinking is that man who rang on like the Monday who was like there's big piles of brown out there Hank it was Hank Hank with the massive piles of crap in his garden big piles of brown and I was like I don't actually think that is crap I think it's molehills and I think it's the same thing with her where it's not real shit just just being like ah oh, it's crap my thing with this is it specifically says on the dinner table right and it says they are known to appear in their eating areas and as the picture on the dinner table. It's weird that it says it should be consumed. So it's either that or a trash gnome. So for this I have that it's on the dinner table and it's a big pile of crap. And then for the trash gnome, I've got that it smells like rotten eggs. Yeah, I just think I just think that this doesn't have like many descriptors right this doesn't have many things to describe it whereas a trash gnome does and i think if it was a trash gnome she would be reporting more things whereas this the only thing you can say about it is that it's a pile of crap on your table and it smells bad right 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 That's hard, yeah. that one. Mm, sorry, I zoned out. Hello? Paul? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, hey, I'm yeah. I'm not sure what to do anymore. Uh, my kids can't sleep at night. 
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Itchy kids with nightmares. Itchy kids with nightmares. Please hold. Hold on for a hot second, Paul. You have itchy kids with nightmares. So, the most obvious thing would be would be bed bugs, right? Itchy, itchy kids. Itchy kids. Yeah, and also like washing your sheets wouldn't help. You'd have to get proper proper fumigation in to get rid of bed bugs so bed teeth do you have bites if you have bed teeth tickling or itching but yeah he's been washing his bed sheet so if it was bed teeth they'd be gone right yeah i think that this is just bed bugs There's a lot of things that eat the children, but not specifically at night and making them itchy, you know? Oh, hello, yes, I'm having a very good Saturday. How are you? Charles. Okay. Do you want to explain to me what the hell is happening? I called last week to ask why my home heater has been having issues, and nothing's changed. The leprechaun. You sent me. <laughs> Be quiet. I know your teeth hurt, but Daddy's on the phone right now. We're still freezing our butts off over here. Is that relevant? So that the, the kids' teeth hurt? And uh, is it relevant that his kids' teeth hurt? Right, Be I want to look at the leprechaun because the leprechaun, it said, was the heater, right? Because in my head, I was like, oh, if, if you have, like, the metal fillings, braces and crowns, but that baby ain't, ain't gonna have any metal in it. The only other thing I can think of is the pipe. No, it doesn't say anything about heat. No, I think this has to be a leprechaun. I think it has to be. From what he said about the heater. And also that is kind of descriptive, do you know what I mean? Instead of going for the most obvious things, we've gone deeper. Like, it's affected the heater, not just stealing jewellery. No, it has to be a leprechaun. It has to be a leprechaun. It's eating his heater. I don't understand what his kid's teeth has to do with anything, though, unless you are telling me that that kid has metal in its mouth. I don't know. That doesn't... I don't know. I don't know. It'd be more likely that he had metal in his mouth as opposed to a young child. Or maybe the kid has a hip replacement. Hello, HSH. I think so. Edward. I like his voice. He sounds like he should he should be in taken. I wash clothes have started going Think missing. Some prank and at night I keep hearing this strange whoopee cushion. The Narnia closet. The Narnia closet. I, I tried to scare the kids off. Oh, 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 the troll, the troll, the troll, the troll. Putting out a neighborhood watch sign, but I, I think they're onto my tricks. Okay. Okay, shut up. Okay, yeah, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think some pranksters might be giving my wife and I a run for our money. Um, what did I say? The Narnia closet and the troll. Closet labyrinth. Uh, 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 will often report missing clothes or the sounds of distant cries coming from their closet. Yes, yes. Or the troll will steal warm materials such as blankets or articles of clothing will report missing clothes and claim to hear shrill sounds. Well, that's the exact same thing. Both of those things are the exact same. In the middle of the night. So the only thing I can think of here, right, is that... So his wife's clothes have been going missing and there's a whoopee cushion type sound coming from outside. So the whoopee cushion type sound would be the sound of air escaping, right? Which would be the troll. And he specifically said at night. So the, the Narnia closet is all the time and there's a high pitched noise, but the troll is an air escaping noise 
which would be a whoopee cushion, right? And it's only at night. So my powers of deduction, my Sherlock Jones powers of deduction say that this is a troll. And I feel good about that. I feel like that's 100% right. Good day. Hello. Hello. I'm commercial and I thought I would call just in case you might know what's going on. Okay, Sheila. I was recently putting on my kettle for a bit of afternoon Earl Grey when I heard this awful buzzing sound coming from the cupboard. I looked around inside but I couldn't find anything but a few loose tea leaves. I'm quite concerned about the hornets and the bees and the like because I'm, I'm quite allergic to their stings, you know. So I just wanted to know if there's anything I should be worried about right now. My hearing isn't what it used to be, after all. Hello. I really like Sheila. A woman after my own heart drinking her tea. Hello, I saw your commercial. <laughs> okay, so buzzing sound in the cupboard loose tea leaves it's not bees Please it's hold. not bees this is a tea sprite a tea sprite okay sheila i don't think this is bees sheila i think you have a tea sprite and we'll check afterwards i remember that being loose tea leaves with the tea sprite um. Oh. oh no 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 Hello, I have no info that I can check to give you, Christy. Hi, some medical help. Oh I'm well I don't think I can do that. I talk to our family practitioner. Yeah, already, yeah, I've got nothing. Here, so we've been um having some trouble sleeping. Oh good. Well there's only <laughs> a few well, things that could do that. Really it's I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have asthma and some particularly severe allergies. We tried washing all the bed sheets in the house, but that didn't really help much. Thankfully the kids haven't had any issues yet, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Yes. So I have no info that I can call upon here, Christy, but I remember reading that a bed hag would sit on your chest and cause shortness of breath Please so hold. is it gonna let me oh it's not gonna let me and every time you know someone tells them to call here like the police or a gp or whatever i'm like well it's not it's nothing normal is it because if it was something to do with asthma or something to do with black mold you know the gp would tell them so it's something weird basically something not of the norm I'm gonna say it's a bed hug. I have nothing. I can't read anything, and that was my first thought. Sure, all I have is shortness of breath, and I have no info. I'm, so, I'm sorry if it's wrong, Sheila. I hope you and your family don't get murdered in your sleep. Oh, I've got to do three in a row. Isn't I can't check. I'm not sure about. Well, I'm kind of sure about the tea spray. I'm not sure about the bed hug. Carla. I've been hearing this weird sound. It's the whistling. It's the whistling fun guy. I've heard that before. It's the whistling fun guy. It sounds like a carousel. I can. It's the whistling fun guy. I can't figure out your accent, Carla. It's the whistling fun guy. The whistling fun guy. Whistling fun guy. Not even checking anything else. It's that. It's that. That sound. It's that. You are welcome, Carla. See, I didn't even need the info. Didn't need it. Unless it was something else. In which case, I still didn't need it because I would have ignored it. Rachel? Um, hello? Can you help me? You rang me. Don't say hello like that. Hello? Right. I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. Right. I think it's 
petting my puppy Meatball too? He's really been acting up lately. Oh no. I can hardly blame him. It smells so terribly rotten. Please, can you help? Maybe. I'll try. I'm going to check the things that I think upset him. Loud rattling or banging from the washing, washing, from the washing machine and missing socks. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh. I think your dog's dead. Cause the rotten smell would be the the corpse of your real dog, and this dog's. This fake dog. <laughs> yeah. R.I.P. Meatball. It's, uh, yep, yep. Your dog's dead, I'm afraid. Please don't. Please don't blame me. Hi! I don't want to deliver any more bad news. <gasps> Flipper! I'm not gonna have to figure out what that is, is it, dear? Will I at some point? That's taken Flipper, squeaking. Eee -ee -ee. Oh, what if Grace didn't have mice? What's, what squeaks then? Because that's something that's taken over a person. Accuracy ninety two point three oh seven six nine percent. Does that mean the only one I got wrong was the was the wine sprite, which I'm still mad about? It might be. Clock out. Shift has ended. Yay! Look at me remembering to do an outro as well as an intro. Ten out of ten. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, that was Saturday. We did a great job. We've only got Sunday left to go. Don't think we figured out anything else. Hopefully, we won't get turned into a smart mouse like. Mike, although we would be the smartest of mice. And I will see you next time. So that's it.